Hello soulmates! It is an absolute pleasure to have you on my channel once more. If this is your first time checking out my channel, please do not leave without subscribing because on this channel I teach you how to do simple DIY fashion right there at your home. Today I will be showing you how to make a simple kimono dress. So the first thing you'll have to do, the first thing you have to do is determine the measurement from the middle of your nape to where you want your top to stop when you determine that measurement you're going to fold to the largest part of the measurement so in my case from the nape the middle of the nape of my neck to where i want my blouse to stop is about 16 inches so the biggest part will be the sleeve area that part where the kimono will be so i will fold to 16 inches however if your hip is larger you're going to divide your hip by four and whatever you get you're going to fold according to that measurement so in this case i have here unfold about 18 inches so what i did i fold this is fold in four. So this is one, two, this is three, and this is four. So I'm just cutting the back and the front together. So the first thing you have to do is start with your, your line. So I'm gonna start with my That is my starting point. After I have my starting point, I'm going to measure from my, my nape to my waist. In this case, mine is 17 inches. So I'm gonna measure 17 inches down. And I'm going to make that into a straight line. So now I'm going to put the nape of my neck to my hip. Mine is 24 inches. So that's my hip line. And then I'm going to do the nape of my neck to where I want my dress to stop. And that's going to be, I want my dress to be 42 inches. and i need the rest of it is just for seam alone so that's about three inches all right so now what you're going to do is that you're going to put your three inches here just to determine the slope so that's my three inches and on this line i'm going to go down two inches okay and I'm going to connect this three inch to the two inch mark like this. So that will determine the sl slope of the kimono. Now, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to determine how wide I want this, this dress to be. So because we're not putting a zipper in this dress, I will suggest you'll make it about five inches or five and a half inches. So I'm going to make mine five inches. So you notice I measure along the slope. And then I'm going to go down about four inches and I'm going to connect this mark here. And I'm cutting the back and the front neckline the same. Okay. So now I'm going to have this okay okay so let's talk about before we do this area let's go to the waist so you're going to impute your waist measurement so this is my waist my waist is about 34 inches a quarter of 30, 34 is eight and a half so i'm going to put eight and a half inches here but because this is free i'm going to make it nine and a half 
that's right here plus one inch for seam allowance my hip my hip is 43 inches so that is 10.75 and I'm going to add one inch that's 11.75 because this is just gonna be free and one inch for seam allowance so what I'm going to do, I'm going to connect those curves. Now, at the end, you can put the same measurement that you put there at the end of your dress. Okay? So this is 11.75. I'm going to put 11.75 at the end also plus one inch seam allowance and I'm going to make that connect that line okay okay So now that you did that, we're going to work on this part. So for this area, what you're going to do is that you're going to put half of your round sleeve measurement, okay? So mine is about 15 inches. That is seven and a half, which is right here. But then I'm gonna need half an inch to sew this together. That's gonna be eight inches. Then I'm going to need one inch to make it a little bit free because I don't want it too tight because this is a kimo on the top. And then that's nine. And then I'm going to need one inch to sew it together. One inch for sewing allowance. So now this line, you're going to make it this point, that 10 inch point, you're going to make it into a straight line. And on that line, is where you're going to put your bust measurement okay so my bust is 42 inches and that is going to be 10 and a half then i'm going to add about um one inch for ease so that's going to be 11 and a half plus one inch for sewing allowance so that is 11 and a half plus one inch for sewing allowance now on this line remember we said that we want our sleeve to be 18 inches okay 16 inches so i'm gonna just make it about 17 inches and you're going to take this all the way down like this okay so I took that all the way down so what I'm going to do now because I don't want this too straight I'm going to go in about one and a half inches and I'm gonna connect this point here to the one and a half inch point like this you're also going to connect this point here And this point here okay so when you do that what you're going to do is at this point we are going to curve it so at this point you're going to at this point here you're going to go down about two inches like this and diagonally you're gonna go in about one inch like so and what you're going to do, so I hope you could see this. So I went down two inches and I went diagonally. I went one inch like this. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to connect those points like this. You could use your free hand 
and connect the points. You're going to connect those points. So if you notice, the, the, this kimono top is formed. Okay, so you're going to connect those points nicely. And remember to blend those curves because you don't want it too sharp on your body. So here you have it. Your kimono top is ready to be sewn together. So remember we said that at this point here, you're going to do the neckline for the back and the front. And we already added this seam allowance to join it in this point right here. So no need to do that again. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut it out. So to cut this out, I'm going to fold, I'm going to fold under my allowance like this. Okay. And then I'm just going to cut this out. Okay, so this is what you're going to have for your kimono top. Before I close this up, what I'm going to do is that I went ahead and I cut out because I'm going to put on this, this part of my band, um, a turn up. I'm going to make a turn up. So I went ahead and I cut out. Um, unfold I cut out two and a half inch because I want to sew half an inch here so I'm going to put this on top of it to make a band for it so this is two and a half inches and this is what I uh, what I have okay so you're going to need this so all you have to do cut a rectangular piece and I fused interfacing on it also, I'm going to go ahead and cut my neckline. So all you have to do to cut the neckline is that you're going to take a piece of paper like this and you're going to fold it in four. Ensure that you have enough and you're going to put this underneath. Remember, it must be unfolded, so maybe this is not enough. For me to do it but let's see so i'm gonna cut one first and then cut the other and then you're going to put this on it like this ensure you have enough right you're gonna put this on it because now you're cutting the facing And you're just going to trace this out. So you're going to determine how wide you want this part to be. Okay, you're going to determine how wide you want it. I want mine to be about, say, four inches or three and a half inches. Okay, and you're going to trace out this this curve so you're cutting two of these for the back and the front okay so what you're going to do you're going to measure that same amount all the way around all the way around and remember you're cutting two okay all the way around okay so now I'm gonna cut this out Okay, so mates, so now we are going to do the assembling of this dress. So the first thing you're going to do, so this is the piece that we've drafted. This is the back and this is the front of the dress. So now you're going to put right sides facing each other. So this part is my right side and this is my wrong side. 
And what I'm going to do is that at the shoulders, I'm going to take my half an inch seam allowance. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to take to my sewing machine and take half an inch seam allowance. Also, on the lining piece, you're going to put right sides facing each other and you're going to take half an inch seam allowance, just like you did on the main fabric. So that's what I'm going to do now. Okay, so mates, so this is what I went ahead and I did. I took my half an inch seam allowance, you can see it there. And I also did it on the lining. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn it this way and I'm going to match right sides facing each other on the lining. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to pin it in place. So I'm using my wonder clips for this. Pull the shoulders together. Open your seams and you're going to pin it in place all the way around. So when you do that, you're going to take half an inch seam allowance all the way around your neckline. And then after you do that, you're going to notch it so that it could relax. After you notch it all the way around, give it some little snips, but do not snip your thread. You're going to turn it over and you're going to top stitch to the lining. So I'm going to do that and I'll show you what to do next. So after you, I made my top stitch, I'm going to, you're going to snip it, okay? Not the thread, because it helps it to relax better. So it's easy for ironing. You're going to notch it all the way around, but not on the thread. Be careful that you don't cut your thread, okay? Notch it all the way around. Okay. Then I'm going to take it and then I'm going to turn the facing to the lining and I'm going to make a stop, top stitch all the way around. So I'm going to do that and I'll show you what. Okay, so mate, so this is what it looks like when I attached the neckline. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to work on the sleeve area. This is a very easy, easy top to do. But at this point, what you can do is that you tack it. Use your needle and thread to tack it down so that it stays down. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn my top, my dress, on the wrong side. And I'm going to take my band okay so this is the band that we make remember i told you that i made it um um five inches so that when i take it to my sewing machine and take my one inch my half an inch seam allowance then by the time i should flip it over then i'll get two inches so what you're going to do you're going to take the right side and you're going to place it on the left side of the fabric and you're going to take your half an inch seam allowance all the way around when you do that you are going to flip it over to the right side so now this part is gonna be on the right side then you're going to top stitch so when it's like this so it's gonna be like like this I'm gonna sew it down like this So now when I sew it down, I'm going to flip it to this side so it's going to come over on the other side. So now what you're going to do, you're going to top stitch to the main part of the fabric to let it stay down. All right, so I'm going to do that and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so, men, so this is what I meant. So after I 
attached it remember the right side of this should face the wrong side of the fabric like this what i did was that i sewed towards the main fabric so when i fold it like this you're supposed to have something that looks like this so okay so it's gonna turn up like this so what i'm going to do i'm gonna take it to my ironing board and i'm going to um iron this down and then i'm going to run a stitch in the center here to keep this part up okay so that's what you're i'm gonna do now okay so mate so our project is coming on quite fine so what i'm going to do now is that i'm going to put right sides facing each other like this okay and i'm going to run a stitch okay so we're finishing up this project you're going to take your one in seam allowance that you've left from the arm the arm of it you're going to take it all the way down to finish this dress okay so you're gonna take it all the way down ensure that the waist match the waist I should have told you earlier to make a notch where the waist is for if you're a beginner make a notch because um, you don't want them not to match up okay so that's what I'm going to do to both sides I'm gonna take it to my sewing machine and I'm going to attach them I'm going to make my one inch stitch all the way down on both sides then I'm going to turn up my skirt and hem it and that would be the final thing for this dress so I'll do that and I'll show you how it looks okay so mate so this is the result of the dress that we just made see how beautiful this is so this is how the arm underarm must be you notice this seems much and they are the same and i went ahead and i also surged it but i want to point something out you see under the underarm here be very careful when you're ironing when you're going to iron you can snip it to open it so that you could iron it properly so, so that this area relax so if you notice my seam is not relaxed is it because i haven't ironed it but this is the result that you're supposed to get from your kimono dress so if you find this video helpful do not forget to give me a giant thumbs up do not forget to subscribe and turn on the post notification bell so you'll be notified each time i make a video until we meet again i'll see you soon bye